Hi guys, uh, thank you for attending our Friday night show with Kids Voice Box. I'm Dan. Jim. Uh, we've got Mal here today, back on the camera. Back on the camera. Uh, just before we start into the actual show, we have a little poem we'd like to read. You've probably heard it a few times before. Don't be a bully, be a friend. Don't be a racist, that won't mend. Don't be abusive or aggressive. To show respect is more impressive. And we'd like to start off with that because a lot of things have happened in the past week to associate with this poem, whereas in La Liga with racist chants towards Vinicius Junior or alongside in grassroots as well. And just to start off that note, just by reading out the uh, Respect the XCL. That goes for everyone. Poem, if you're that goes play, for everyone. If yeah. you're playing, managing, representing, everything, it goes to anyone. Yeah. In in football in general. Uh, just before we actually don't properly into it, Mark, would you like to say anything about the poem that was read? Yeah, that was brilliant. Great start. That was your idea. Um, obviously, um, what the lads are saying there about it <clears throat> as well. If you're a coach, if you're a manager, if you're a parent, take that with you. Take that poem with you. Because at the end of the day, if you're a coach and a manager and you're coming out with swearing in front of kids, you know, that is a big, big no. It doesn't make any sense, especially if they're young kids. Yeah. You've got your own kids. We don't want that. We're doing work to keep referees within the game, but we're also doing work to keep the kids playing football in they the game. It. We're trying to teach them right from wrong. If kids have got a problem in a football team and the coaches are trying to get them out of that with an attitude, let them do it. Let them work hard. Let them get those kids together. But not one football team in grassroots football has a perfect team. No one. No one does. Might have a great team, might have a good team who wins every single week, but you've never got a perfect team. If you've got a perfect team, then please, mouth at don'texttheline.com because every team, including us, has the problems with kids because you've been there, you're only developing, you're learning, but what do we have? We have Premier League role models for yeah. the kids. Mine, Jordan Pickford. Well, there you go. And you win a goal, you, you want to be like John Pickford, you want to be like your best player. This is what happens and kids are doing that and they're copying them. So when they do some untowards things, the kids, yeah, the kids will copy. Now here's one for you lads. What about coaches? What about coaches now in grassroots football? And you might have seen it, might have been involved in it. Where they are now being themselves, not the kids, they're being, they're watching the Premier League, they're watching and they're dictating and they're telling the kids, we're going to be Premier League today, we're going to copy, we're going to time waste, we're not going to get the ball, we're going to win at all costs. Is that running into grassroots football now? Just quiet, sweet it and is. simple, it's disgraceful. It, it is, is for kids. Because like you're say DXL Lions. Yeah. Uh, they are under sevens, under eights. Under seven, under eights next year. Going into under eights, if they learn and stuff like showboating, time wasting, and all that, at the age of seven, six, seven, eight, where, where, why would you want to see that? I know with their Premier League, La Liga, Bundesliga, their idols, their like idols growing up to learn football, where it's goalkeeper, striker, or anywhere over the pitch, uh, it's just horrendous. If you're going to teach. I know I can say Everton fan, I know to sit myself with Jordan Pickford, he loves just to hold on a couple of seconds each time the ball. But if that's coming in from the Premier League or wherever you are in the world, down to your grassroots football, I think it's a bit disgraceful because, as you just said, referees, when obviously soon when we're going to be official referees, the time is allocated. It's not like the Premier League where they have someone with a stopwatch now to calculate all the added time, the amount of time the ball's actually been in play. The throw-ins. The throw-ins, free kicks. Take your time, oh. the ball going out of play, don't get it back. Is this win at all cost, do you think, from some coaches? Some, yeah. Not not all, yeah. but some. I think it's depending on the type of person you are. Are you that determined to make your team want to win every single week? Obviously, you're obviously going to be happy if your team wins. Yeah. But if sometimes people But there's no harm in a team losing it. If you get upset, no harm in making better players. Sometimes it's better to lose because like, yeah, to lose you, to mistakes. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You just like figure out, oh, yeah, I've done that wrong, can do this better next 
next week or next game. It's, or it's good to see next. a team lose as well. Yeah, you and can't that's win everything. Training to adapt onto it. Yeah. Say, I know uh, a team got outrun by like thirteen point six kilometers. I think it was Manchester United last season. Which. Uh, like they got beat by Brighton or something. Oh yeah. They made up their mistakes of not running, not always stopping when they had the ball. Yeah, didn't they lose like four one and then the next four time one, they, like 14, they won four one. Yeah. yeah. And you have to make that up in the training sessions. Obviously, this might be a bit hard for uh, kids these days, and they won't have s- uh, statistics like that. Mm-hmm. But say you get caught out at the back in the encounters, maybe you want to adapt on how to get work back. Uh, to learn from your mistakes in training sessions because that's what training is for. Well, training is to develop the kids, isn't it? Yeah. It's, training is surely is not about we need to win this. doesn't matter how we win this. It's got to be good football. Now, I, for one, believe <coughs> in time wasting on the football pitch. Yeah. What I mean by that is if a team's good enough to pass the ball around and make the opposition come and try and get it, that is football. That is, yeah, the that ball's in play. Is, that the ball's in play and the, you know, you, the kids, under sevens, under under eights, under nines, under tens, they want to get that ball back. Yeah. They want to get the it back in play, the whether they're winning, losing or drawing, whatever it is. They want to get that ball back and I think all the coaches should be part and parcel of it. The majority of coaches will do that to keep that ball in play. But I think Premier League football is creeping into grassroots football. Yeah. And, you know, you see, because I, I, I detest all the time waiting in Premier League. I really do. We see a lot of it, don't we? Head injuries going down. Take your time, go down. And we're seeing that now in grassroots football. Yeah. And if you're the coach and you're doing that, what would you say to those coaches, lads? Why are you doing it? You know, there's not going to be any time added on with grassroots. I've said limited time. Why would you teach your children to go? If they're injured, physically injured, you, obviously you might have to go down. You might not be able to you struggle to walk or whatever. That is a re- that is a reasonable excuse to go down. But if you there's five six minutes left at the end of a match, and every time you're going down, you're going down. It happened a couple of weeks ago. Everton Newcastle. Uh, there was a player who went down. Jordan Pickford being him pushed him off to the side of the pitch and he could resume the play. Physios could have easily walked round to the side of the pitch behind the goal and give him his treatment. Let them let the official know he's he's all right. Can he come back on? And obviously, when the ref waves him on, he should be all right. But yeah. going back to grassroots now, you can't really do that. If a child's injured, you're gonna have to deal with it. Yeah, and you had you had a valid point there. You just said there's no much extra time on this one where they can do it in the Premier League add as much time on as they want but in grassroots football crafty you can't because other games come on you have a certain amount of time especially the Jericho uh, yeah possible running Jeffrey Humble that's it yeah Jeffrey Humble they, uh, you know, ground. it's yeah, like they, with the FA built in with the FA now well all leagues all leagues have a set time in other words no more extra, you've got my, to pull that whistle yeah my for my old team used to be 9 o'clock in the morning we had an 11 side pitch for two 9 side games yeah and every week we used to play the other teams. So say team A played team B on pitch one, team C t- played C, uh, team D at the same time, same same pitch just on uh, pitch two. Yeah. The week later, uh, B and C might have swapped, and then. Uh, kind of like a touch ball. Person, yeah. Well, it, that's it. You've got to be off. Rotation. Haven't you? You've got to be off. You've so, say, so the referees haven't got time, game. you couldn't be referees, you two lads as well. Yeah. And what so the league next, next committee weeks. tells you, there you go. The league committees will say, right, as soon as the game's finished, get them all off the pitch, the next game's Even on. if you're on the sideline, do the team talk, you off the pitch. Yeah, so really, there's no time to make up, so that referee Has can never have all the time. You know what I don't get with all the time wasting and all that, is what's the point of it? Because even if you win, you win... Oh, you may get three points. Wow. Big, big, spectacular three points. It's not that big of a deal, especially especially in grassroots. If you're in a Premier League playing full-time... Euro League, Champions League, which Liverpool missed that one. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Sure. says that. It's, <laughs> so like, yeah. it's your life to play football, which is, the kids, it's not. They have a full, number like, Could 80 years of their life. Big egos for the coaches. Look what I've done. 
Look what I've won. It's not about the kids winning anything, is it? Taking part. The kids. Uh, oh, they're going to try the best to win. Yeah, so the coaches want that record, don't we? Yeah. Look what I've got. We're proven. We can win this, we can win that. I was, you know, I was an under 10s under coach or whatever. Oh, on my team won the coach. Was I? Um, <laughs> no. No. My, my team won the league, my team won the cup. Yeah, but teams, you know, we were lucky enough, we were lucky to get a team that's going on. And you, you You've can't got a great team, haven't you? We can't forecast what those kids are going to be. You can't penalise good kids. You can't penalise. If you come across a team that's a good team, that's only going to develop the and players. Teams They're going to learn. Like that, they could be near the bottom of their league next season, they might win it. That's what happened to us. Six years ago. Development. Six years ago, Leicester yeah. won the Premier League. Look where they are now, in yeah. the relegation zone with one Man City to play. were relegated in 1991. They were like League One, weren't they? Four yeah. years ago, their new owners obviously came yeah. in. Well, and the club we, gave them uh, some money to the managers. And then they players. just won the Prem like two weeks ago. Three, weeks in a, uh, three seasons in a row, when then Liverpool won it in the gap year for another two seasons before that. Yeah, so what we're doing... In the last seven years, they've won it. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, I think you'll like this idea, because your possibility, you're going to be there. We don't know. I think you might be away, Dan, but we'll have our young commentators at our tournament, which yes, is I really, am, yeah, nearly, get back yeah, on the day nearly full. Just... The sevens is full, oh. the eights is full, the nines are almost there, the tens almost there, the elevens and twelves, they're coming in now. It will be a massive tournament. It'll fill, and what we want to do is call it the Respect Tournament. So, there'll be two trophies to play for, basically the top half and the, and the lower half. Like, uh, Champions League, Champions League, League. League yeah. Did, yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's what we're going to do. So, we're going to be doing that, but what we might also put into this game, and we'll give it to our referees, because the referees are full as well, we might turn around and say, blatant time wasting, holding on to one? the referee, will hold it in their power, to deduct maybe a goal, or that will stop it all. Blow the whistle, indirect free kicks to the other team. Bye. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to the county FA because they're going to be there. Because we've got to meet with the county FA and I think it's a great thing yeah. that we're going to talk about because we can't have Premier League coming into grassroots football. No. We can't. Talking just then about uh, time wasting, when I just said uh, indirect free kicks could be given, it happened to me today in a little bit of fun and PE. Did it? I was keeper, obviously, messing around, we're about to win the game 2-0. Yeah. I go like that, get the ball, wait till he comes at me, scoops it up, dives on top of it, my teammates jump on top of me, I can't get up, they get an indirect free kick. Wow. Obviously you're not going to jump on your goalkeeper, are you? But well, I don't know. <laughs> you kids, I don't know. You know yeah, that that all changes in there. Early <laughs> on, yeah. well, it happened to me last week. Scored yeah. a goal. But you team. you started a poem, you lads, at the start of the, the, the program, which is a brilliant message that we come up with. We need to get everyone out there with it. Don't regardless. be your friends. Don't be racist. That won't mend. Don't be abusive or aggressive. To be respected is more impressive. To show. Oh, to show. Sorry. Yeah. There you go. You know. I, I, I did it three times in a row before the show. Happy days, but you've got it. That's it. That's brilliant. What a message. But, to be abusive, outside of football, like, I always support the referees, a lot of referees yeah. have gone through abusive behaviour from managers, coaches, and, but, yeah, and we talk about kids being developed, we're talking about kids, you know, the adults, they've got to be the role models first and foremost, especially yeah. the coaches. Now, if coaches come along and it make myself... Just, just this week, you lads probably don't know. I was subject to that. I'm not the referee, but I was subject to swearing towards me. Yes, by another coach. By another coach. Would you believe it? I can stand there. I can stand. Hold my head high because I don't need to swear to get a message across. Now that is poor. That is very, very poor. Poor behaviour. Poor behaviour towards an adult. Yeah. In children's leagues, as you said, you're probably for a football match. Well, correct. And especially if you've got your own kids with you doing that, and you're a coach, what message is that given out to your team? It's acceptable, but it's not. There you go. And that tells me that some of these coaches maybe shouldn't be involved in the sport. That's my honest opinion. Anyway, the good thing is, the county FA are aware of it. Sitting down and, and talking. Yeah, you've got to, haven't you? That's the way we are. They're close with us, but in partnership with the um, LCFA referees, 
but probably in partnership with the county, the local county FA as well, with the work that we're doing. And you lads, going to be referees. And if you ever come across soon. it, which you will. Very, very soon. Yeah, you'll be help, able to handle it. And Definitely, I'm going to wait in two years. Wait, you can't wait, can you? Nope. Really excited. So we're going together, we're going to do the course together, we're going to get you on there. It's going to be better than my brother. There you go. And do you know what? Oh, uh, yeah. Do you know, know what? what you're it might be a great idea, you two referees. And maybe we'll get a, I'll invite an official from the county FA. My team. That you can <laughs> to <laughs> interview. Team. How would you like that? That'd be good, yeah. There you go. And he can give you can ask all the questions there is a, yeah. Yeah. about getting into refereeing. How about that? Yeah. See if we can get him in next week, you know, for it. Yeah. If you're not doing anything. No. Right, it's leave it with me. And, and yeah. I think uh, be, I'm not here next week. Are you away? I'm at my aunt. Well, if you can't make it, um, you can. No. That'd be good, good for you because you can watch it. Mm. And you can send some questions to Dan or whoever can come in. There you go, look at that. Any questions you want because the both is in there. You're ready to go. Yeah. You'll have your uniforms, you'll have your kits, you'll have your whistle. Because I've got your whistles and all that. And maybe you have our cards. Wade. And you'll have your cards. Wade. Wade, there you go. What, what's yeah, this one? Uh, not being here. There you go. Now, lads. We, Again. It's up to that's great. So I know you want to talk about the most important thing tomorrow. Uh, Sunday. Sunday. Premier League's on. Oh, Who's you. going up? You just have to. I was going to say it up. You just have to win, don't you? Well, if the other team lose, we're safe no matter what. Well, if we get a win, we're guaranteed safety no matter what, what happens. But uh, the other teams get a draw, we're still safe. But Leeds have got West Ham at King Power Stadium, and then Leeds have got, I think it was Ellen Road, I think. King Power Stadium, Leeds, Leicester, you mean? Leicester, yeah. yeah no, you Leicester, said Leeds? No, I said Leicester have West Ham. Right. Uh, Leeds have Tottenham. And you said the King Power Stadium for but Leeds. But did you see oh. Leicester the other night? Why did they leave it till 10 minutes before they started playing? I know, yeah. <laughs> I mean, all um, Newcastle needed was a point to guarantee the Champions yeah. League. But one shot, and if they'd have equalised, that would have been unreal, wouldn't it? Well, but that just shows you where, football. Where was Newcastle's goal? They hit the, bo they hit the post three times. Yes. They had, oh, in that they one, had 27 yeah. shots, 12 on target or something like that, something ridiculous like that. Zero goals. Let's just say, Leicester goalkeeper was outstanding. I honestly, I don't. I'm a Liverpool fan, but I don't want Everton to go down because my mate Louis is an Everton fan. I mean, what what would the league be without good Merseyside derby? The longest yeah. derby between the football. And my dad, and my dad's a massive Everton. Will you so. stay up? Yeah. You've got an open top bus, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> The thing is, I'm becoming a fan when I was the pitch like last season. Well, that's going to happen though. Didn't okay. you get you get five for like 300 million something, don't you? Something ridiculous like yeah. that. There must and be odds on to stay up, Evan. Yeah, I've got a 12% chance of getting relegated or something like that. Something stupid like that. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's all gone your way. There's too much. Luckily. Leeds and Leicester, I think, are worse than They've got two games. They've got decent. Yeah, yeah. West Ham's form recently hasn't been the best. Yeah. Well, look at Chelsea. How lucky are they? See you, mate. A couple more losses. Super Frankie Lampard. This is... The first Chelsea yeah. manager to get four losses in a belt. But he, he went... Yeah. And he's, he's gone... He went to Everton. He loved him. He wanted him to stay. Then he yeah, went he to Chelsea. He got sacked. He went to Chelsea. Did he get sacked again? No, he's still there. He's still there. He's still there. Oh. Yeah, and honestly, if Everton go down, I'm not seeing my dad for a week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, the Everton will not blue. go down. Massively. We'll change the blue. No. You only need a point if one of those teams lose, don't we? Leicester or Leeds. Yeah, if Leicester and Leeds both lose, we're safe. We're two points clear. If they both draw, we're safe. It's we lose, both draw. Right to the end of the season, at least you've got something to play for. Yeah, we okay. haven't now, we can't go into the Champions League. Or Europa. Oh, have you got Europa as well? Yeah, we can finish fifth, can't we? Yeah. I think we can, yeah. We need, we need the window. Yeah. Win to secure no, it. I don't think so, I think. We only need a point to stay fifth. Do we? I think I'm so. Not sure. yeah. Well, it's not exciting, is it? It's not exciting for Liverpool. Uh, who who have we got? Can you show me? Yeah, uh, fixtures. You just have Southampton. Oh, we'll win that. You can win that. Yeah. Watch that. What have Southampton got to play for? No. Exactly. exactly. They just want to they prove do. that they're good enough to stay. Yeah. They've got everything because they, they'll say, they come on, they, they can't stay. They want to mean stay at the club to get the prem. Oh, Everton is on Sky Sports because obviously it's. Is Liverpool? It's relegation battle. So it's going to be split yeah. pitches, yeah. is Going over. Leicester, West Ham. Uh, Leicester, Leicester, West Ham at the King Power. 
Leeds and Spurs at Ellen Road. United have got Fulham. Ben's going to be at that one. <laughs> yeah. Some so good fixtures. They, uh, I was going to say Ben's going to go to the Leeds game and then have to. Here's, here's one for you. Look at it, Liverpool, no, Liverpool, Liverpool have got Europa League no matter what. Liverpool, they? Oh yeah. Liverpool secured Europa League. Yeah. Crazy uh, night football. Can we not get fourth? <laughs> hey. what? Can we not get fourth? No, because it's going to be close. The thing is, if you win the Europa League, you qualify for the Champions League, don't you? Mm. Oh yeah. So if you win it, yeah. And if you win you qualify for the Europa League no matter what. Yeah. And if you win the conference league, you win the Europa League. Yeah, can't you win the Europa League. And if you win the Champions League. It's quite cool if you do that. Yeah. But what's what's the game for the Carabao Cup? Do you go to the Conference League? Carabao Cup is the Community Shield, isn't it? Yeah, no. Community Shield, that's separate. Community Shield is winner of the FA Cup. Just win the Cup. Winner of the FA Cup versus the winner of the League. But if both of them, it's the same team, then. What happens? Nothing. They win the Community Shield by fault. By default. Oh. So there you go. What we've done. Basically, it's Man City against Man City. Who's going to win? We've come with the Man verdict. City. Done. We've come with the verdict. They were built. That Everton is staying up. Oh, I, 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 want, I want it to happen. Well. What would it be though without the. What are the 12 teams that created English football to go down to the top division? Is and the, the Messi side derby as well. We were withdrawing at the cup anyway. Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, but like yeah, it's always us, isn't it? Yeah, so we, yeah we'd meet again. We'd always have, have a, we'd always have a friendly, couldn't we? <laughs> right, lads, I think. Most sad dogs are never going to be a friendly. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Time well, to go. yeah, it's time to go. We've had a great show with the lads. Yeah, not getting it, but like we've had a great yeah, show with them, haven't we? Yeah, what a great show. Amazing show. Who's ringing? Yeah, it's only me, lad. Uh, you realise, yeah. Yeah, we've had a great show with the lads. We we talked about some fascinating things here in grassroots football. Uh, sure. We'd love your comments. Maladontextaline.com, I'm sure there'll be one or two. Keep them clean. Yeah. There you go. There's yeah, the message once again. I don't again. know if you can read it. I'll get a little bit closer. Whether you're in football, yeah. whether you're representing Goodbye. football, or just in, in your footy. Dream. In footy football. in general. There you go. So do you want to end it, Tom? Jaden, uh, well, yeah, go on, Jaden. You do it, Sam. Right. Thank you for watching our show. Kick your feet up, get some popcorn, and enjoy. Enjoy the last match of the Premier League yeah. weekend. And we'll see you tomorrow evening on the grassroots show with myself. Good night, Have a great night. Good night. <laughs>